All right, we're back up. We're doing research and technology, and very moving on to the fourth scenario and here. This got one away from the Battle of Sterling. You, need to advance but, you know, to a little bit of action, age. not too much, but a uh, short introduction great. to what's going to be ahead. You're it's going to need to research here. some technologies of your own to increase the strength of your civilization. Uh, you want to start off basic economic uh, units and buildings, uh, villagers, mine loom camps, loom and uh, make, sure, make sure you build a mill, corral those sheep. To research loom, uh, you can click the this, town center, this one, uh, really then quickly, click the research loom button. Uh, ward off the researching angry technology. Cost it sounds a little bit menacing, warding off angry attacks, but uh, it's really not too While bad. It's just a night and a couple of more shots you can't handle. And use your military uh, hopefully, units if you can't handle that, good luck even making it through like the second scenario in Joan of Arc campaign. And that's, you're not going to have a good time, that's all I can say. Uh, you want to get some villagers, clear out them. Uh, usually in the Dark Age, uh, you, in the Feudal Age even, you don't want to be focused on, on gold. You want to be focusing on wood and food just because New the, the more wood you get, the more farms you can create, uh, the more food you can get, the more villagers you can create and disperse the building for mining, for chopping down some wood, getting some food for you. Um, just covering all aspects of uh, your economy, your civilization. So those are the two primary resources that you want to be focusing on early in the game. And once you near the castle age and the feudal age, when you're in the feudal age, but near the castle age, uh, it's really important to, you know, throw in a few, through, 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 few villagers uh, to mine some to mine some stone so you can make sure you're out ahead and on top of your game once you get in the castle age. Just build the castle, get some walls going out there uh, to protect yourself and uh, get something going off on some so, gold can come late in the feudal age if you really want to. In addition to, to gathering food and forage bushes, villagers can herd but, sheep uh, and hunt sometimes deep. Sometimes I just don't really care, and I'll put it together in, uh, in the feudal age. And I'm sorry, this lag. We should be only here for about one more video. I'm getting close to figuring out the problem. Uh, so, just make sure you, you, know, you fight through this. I'll, it'll be getting better. Stay, you know, just... Stay watching this stuff, and the lag won't be as prominent. I assure you that I'm gonna fix the resolution problem and the, the red uh, water or not watermark, but screen capture thing as well. Uh, what do we got going on? I can't even read my own resource numbers right at this point. You can't upgrade, uh, and try not to make the mistake of. Thinking Dark Age is going to be a good era for battle uh, because it's not at all. And the reason for that is for what mil militia cost or for what militias do, they're they're more they're pretty expensive. So you don't want to be wasting stuff early on the Dark Age, and they're especially going to be expensive because if you're still in the Dark Age, you don't have enough resources to get to the Feudal Age, and that means. Militia are going to be even more of a higher percentage of your how much stuff you have uh, to pay for things. So, you know, stay away from making too many units in the Dark Age. Um, the Feudal Age, I mean, you're not going to run to too many battles either, but if you're, if like an enemy is so far ahead and they're just rushing you, uh, you're going to have to, you know, get some, some sort of um, defense up. So the best you can do is probably some men at arms and and uh, some archers, but I mean, you can't really go too far in the feudal age as well. So make sure you that's why the importance of getting into the castle age expands your military capabilities so far. So just be wise with what you spend on early on. So once you get to the castle age, you, you have room to build more buildings, uh, get more units, and get a wide variety of units to protect yourself and uh, grow economically to control, control the map as well. Not too much strategy to talk about in this scenario. Uh, it's really straightforward. It's another easy one. Uh, there you go, Militia. So just keep those strategies in mind when you're playing. Uh, don't worry too much about, you know. I mean, what, it can be fun though if you like you're playing with the buddy or something, and you restrict gameplay to to like uh, let's say feudal age 
So you can only get up to the feudal age and you just battle it out with archers, skirmishers. That can actually be pretty fun. I'll introduce those units in the next mission. Uh, those will actually be pretty fun. That'll be actually pretty fun to play with a, an opponent. You know, really emphasizes tactics. You know, fight you with not the best crew, but you know, seeing who the be best However, strategist is. You also need two that, that can be some fun stuff. Uh, it takes a little bit longer, you but it can be a little have a bloody too. So now have your villagers. So don't underestimate milk. that. You know, throw in a death the match with uh, feudal a feudal age only. That that's be that'll be some fun stuff. Now you can advance from the You can't really emphasize each civilization's unique ability. Center, and I'll read those off later on uh, once I get into like Good. the actual the actual campaign. But I don't really know uh, the campaign. The English are making tutorial. a sneak attack. So uh, they they have the Wool Raiders as their special unit. So oh here's we got a little skirmish going on with uh, the Brits. What you doing over here? Well, you down. Can't you see I got a militia gang going? There you Create go. some extra I love that blood animation down there. I wish that I, would, I really wish the, the uh, unit stayed down there uh, on the ground, you know, in their carcass, and not totally decomposed in like a second. Uh, because you know, you just you could see the expanse and how 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 much battle has uh, ensued throughout your time playing by. Um, all the all the units on the ground, all everybody just laying down after the battles. That'd be that would be pretty exciting. You know, fighting the Catalonian fields and that till a hun walk through. Oh, that'd be that'd be some sick stuff. All those units just sprawled out on the ground across the the fields. Not that I don't want to see this is like just, I'm some conniving murderer type bloodthirsty person. Uh, just it would just be interesting. Uh, they did that. I think they did that just for raiding. Upgrading to man at arms will do. change all your militia units Stage to the more level, powerful men at arms. I don't want to get too gory. Congratulations! Yeah. Advancing to the I next stage is the best way. Near the minimap at the lower right and corner of the screen is the idle village here. here. As you can see, you can get the stable and the archery. Um, archery range in the fetal age, so that'll be an upgrade to the old And on the mining camp and the lumberjack, uh, lumber camp, as we upgrade the men at arms, who are much better, as you can see right there, that knight comes through, who are much better than militia, better armor and attack. You can put them in the town center and cut a lot of them fire out towards your enemies, but we're just gonna fight, take them head on. Fight these British guys, uh, take down their low, lowly militia and the knight. I don't know where that knight came from. English Probably like their general or something. Uh, the but English are that is it to scenario four, and we'll be moving on to this cutscene here and the Battle of Sterling. So I'll check, I'll ch uh, check me out next time, and uh, stay tuned for more. Long chance has invaded, stormed, and sacked the city of Perth. It's worse. He's captured the fabled Stone of Scone and declared himself King of Scotland. If we cannot bring about a victory in battle soon, then the Scottish armies will be too demoralized to put up any fight at all. If this mythical Scottish giant does exist, I wish he'd get his forces up to Stirling, where we shall next do battle.